video game designers be like, this is good. <laughs> Thanks folks, I'll be here all week. <sighs> Hear me out, women in armor. Okay, as part of my decree for the new year, make content that makes me happy and giddy. Here we are. One of my favorite characters of all time, Wonder Woman. Doesn't matter what kind of content or media she's in, I will eat it up like Gollum eats raw fish. So juicy, sweet. Now I've already done her newish armor. Pick up your sword. kind of just been sitting there and I haven't really dressed up as her since. Part of my plan was to do hospital visits, but then COVID was there. So I figure Wonder Woman is pretty recognizable and I think I want to redesign it and do kind of a different version of Wonder Woman. Now an ever heated debate, at least in my brain, is lady armor, boobs or no boobs? I feel like this topic has had middle-aged rich white men scratching their heads in Hollywood board meetings for about 60 years. Personally, I feel like there's always two sides to an argument such as this. Of course, women can wear what they want. If you want to accentuate what you want to accentuate when wearing armor, go for it. I'm not picky. Armor is armor. I love it all. But I do also enjoy when women wear just the same armor that men used to wear. I don't know. I just, when you're marching into battle, you don't need to stop mid sword thrust and say, can you tell that I have breasts? As much as I love Diana's new armor, I, I feel badass. I feel powerful in it. I don't know. Personally, I think I would like to see her in more traditional medieval knight armor. I just think it would be fun. <laughs> and so here we are. So before we get started here, let's have a little lesson in historical armor for ladies. Okay, friends, so as far as I can tell, through depictions of Joan of Arc in historical paintings, ladies in armor from other cultures, and even stage adaptations, it seems to me like boob armor is kind of a newer development. Which, however, does not explain this atrocity, but that is a deep dive for another day. Welcome back. Now, what's my plan for this project, you may ask? That's a good question, and very valid. It's something I totally have thought thoroughly about before hitting record. If you've been here a while, you may know that part of the 2018 Face Awards, I did a Joan of Arc inspired project. I was under both a budget and a strict time deadline, ordered the most plasticky of plastic Halloween night costumes. <laughs> Not only was it ginormo, you know, it was very cheap looking. With the magic of acrylic paint and weathering, I was able to make it look a little bit more like a real suit of armor. I used the chest plate a lot and I was kind of afraid of ruining it. What I did, like any logical person, was order some new armor online. It just came in yesterday, but now this one's kind of too nice to ruin. So let me show you. <laughs> Ugh, this is the future. Sometimes I wonder what the reaction would be if you were to go back in time and tell any knight that you can just order steel armor <laughs> online and get it a few days later. I would imagine it would be something like sorcery. This is also very greasy. I'm assuming it has to do with like the metal and keeping it shiny or something, but it feels like any given member of Jersey Shore circa 2005. Ugh. Oh, that's loud. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Nick, help. A few moments later. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, me? Uh, so yeah. This is great, but not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to put this away for a rainy day when I feel like destroying the patriarchy or Rome. And then I'm going to dig out all of the pieces of that Halloween armor. Okay, here we go.
video game designers be like, this is good. <laughs> Thanks, folks. I'll be here all week. Let's talk plan of metaphorical attack. Also, side note, there is a medieval version of Hips Don't Lie and I need you to hear it. Hey, man, tonight, you know my- All right, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, but we're just gonna start chipping away. All pieces are accounted for, mostly. There is this mystery piece clearly goes somewhere and I'm not quite sure where that somewhere is. I think it might be a bicep piece, but there's only one. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that might be perfect because Wonder Woman has a little bicep doohickey. Only having one piece might be very fortuitous. Good stuff, it was meant to be. Tis fate. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh boy. I think most of the armor can stay the same. Mostly I think what I'm gonna change is the chest plate. So right now it has just a basic lion on it. Possibly sand this down, make a new decal that's an eagle, just because it's kind of, you know, her golden eagle armor. <laughs> and then I might add a little bit more decorative motifs throughout. And then these bad boys are absolutely huge. Kind of remind me of those big like beetle monsters in Dark Crystal. We'll probably cut these down a little bit. Maybe just like right here, just so they're a little bit more manageable and not so chunky. We're going to paint everything gold, weather it. Do have to make a circlet for the head, kind of like her tiara, but make it a little bit more medieval. See if we can't make her a nice sword. I have a LARP sword that is Wonder Woman's, but it is, it's very thick. Maybe take the handle of that sword. The hilt of a knife, dagger, sword, or bayonet is its handle. Thank you. Just doing my job. I think I might take the hilt of that if I can find it. I honestly have no idea where that is currently situated and put it onto maybe a different blade. But we will figure that out when it comes time. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I fibbed a little. I am not going to sand down the armor first. Don't want to permanently ruin it. Part of reusing stuff and like upcycling is not permanently altering stuff you might use in the future. In case I don't like this fun little eagle design and someday I wanna go back to the lion, I wanna be able just to straight up peel off the eagle if I want to. The eagle might be a little lumpy. I just, I'm, I'm a, too much of a wuss. You feel me? And this is why it took me about two years to get my hair trimmed. Through the magic of editing, you will see this completely cut out now. just about done with adding some of that like a Wonder Woman motif. Obviously anything with the green is stuff that I've added. The edges are very visible. So I think what I wanna do, round it out. We're going to use this stuff. It's made to be like a plumbing sealant, not what I use it for. It's really popular amongst cosplayers and foam smiths. It goes in the cracks and then you can use water to smooth it out and it just, it really, it makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, everything is off to dry. So I will see you tomorrow. Morning. Oh no. I just want you to know that currently I am fighting the urge every time I start a new day for a project to dramatically walk down the staircase for my entrance. F it. Dun, 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 dun. 
easy. I feel better already. So today, everything has dried pretty nicely. It's a little lumpy, so I'm going to take my Dremel and just kind of sand down the edges. And then it is time to spray paint them gold. I think I'll start on the headband and then maybe after that's done, try to figure out where the heck I put Diana's sword. And then I think most of this project is going to be painting the armor once it's dry. The sooner we can get this spray painted, the better. So let's get to sanding. <laughs> We are ready to spray paint. Thoroughly apologize to all of the ghosts in my basement. Y'all about to get choked out. <laughs> Let's do it. Also for that select few who might be wondering whatever happened to the creepy clown painting from my old house, I found the perfect place for it. Why nothing less than our own personal show key. I'm gonna stop myself right here to point out this rookie mistake. You see this right here? That is because I did not prime my foam before painting it. Do you see how absorbent and yellow and porous is this? I foolishly skipped priming because I didn't have any Plasti Dip, but I remembered that Mod Podge also does the job the same way. So basically, before you try to spray about six coats of spray paint on, just make sure you prime your foam. Because then once you block all of those tiny, tiny little openings, the spray paint will go on beautifully. Now that those are drying and um, feeling a little loopy from the fumes, I'm gonna do the headpiece really quick. I'm basically just gonna kinda do what hers looks like in the newer movies, but make it like a little smaller so it's more of just a circlet rather than an actual tiara. Am I using that word right? Circlet, yes. I know words sometimes. And then we can send that down to the pit of despair. <laughs> Hi, yeah, actually just kidding. I'm going to change the design. So instead of just those W motifs, a star, because I forgot, silly me, that the star on her tiara is part of her lore. What does the star in Wonder Woman's tiara stand for? The symbol of her status is Princess of Paradise Island. Princess of Paradise Island, bitch. I think that'll do nicely. Yeah, okay. Go see if we can find my sword. <laughs> Wish me luck. Nope. Nope. Hmm. I am defeated. I have no freaking idea where that sword is. At this point, everything is literal chaos and it could be anywhere. I'm just gonna have to use the sword that I always use and maybe just not show the hilt or something. It is what it is. Moving house just accentuates your tornado-like qualities. Maybe that guy from Halloween Town 2 is cosplaying Diana as we speak. <sighs> all right, well, um, all that I can do now is just wait for everything to dry and then we can start painting. Welcome to Weathering 101. Do you enjoy making things look at least one century older, including maybe your wardrobe? Then this is for you. First, you're going to take a painting palette. If it looked like a Looney Tune threw up on it, all the better. Do not trust people with clean palettes. I use three paints, but mostly use this black right here. Then you're gonna take the piece of armor in question. Use a brush you don't care about. Try to make sure you have a very, very little amount of paint on that. And then you're just gonna dry brush in the places that theoretically would gather grime. It's almost like with clothing, if the sun hits a particular spot or more wear hits a particular spot, then it's gonna be lighter and darker in the places that, you know, don't see any action. So it's the same thing with weathering armor. Once I got kind of a base coat, I went in with a smaller brush and added more of the details. Ooh, try and tell me that's not satisfying. I find as a characteristically chaotic person that this is very therapeutic for me because it does not need to be uniform, it does not need to be neat, basically the messier the better. So 
So after realizing I was going to be doing this for about one eternity, I threw on a true crime podcast and got to work. later. Let's go! Transformation time. Am I ready to do character makeup even though I haven't done it in months? Yes. Do I look like a serial killer? Also yes. It snowed a lot last night, so for your viewing pleasure and bonus content, Here's Frodo, happily trouncing around. All right, friends, here goes nothing, I guess. I don't think you're ready for this. Mm -hmm. Mm. First things first, I need a good frontal face picture of Gal. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> do some contouring, a more gray based color. I kind of learned that when I use browns, it tends to just look dirty. And for whatever reason, gray helps make it look like, I don't know, more like shadow or something, I guess. shadow. <laughs> All right, let's do eyebrows and then we can come back to everything else. But I feel like eyebrows I always have to do one of the first things. If we map out the face, start getting thick here and the rest is kind of strands. Wow. Costume makeup almost always <laughs> like absolute dumpster fire until the very last touch-ups. So bear with me. Whoops, yeah, whatever. Even Wonder Woman struggles with eyeliner sometimes. I'm just keeping it realistic. I'm just gonna do the lips and stuff now. Tiny brush for highlights. Getting there slowly. on and see what final touch-ups we need. I'm gonna do a tiny bit more futzing around just because, you know, I'm me. Curl the ends of this wig just a tiny bit, but then we're ready to, oh, to suit up. Mm-hmm. 
Hi. <laughs> okay, I can't feel my fingers. I probably should have taken just a little bit of a break to dethaw my hands and wipe out all of the snot off my face, the amount of which was palpable. Lady Knight Diana is done. Please stop licking my armor, sir. Sir? I think the paint job came out pretty cool. I'm actually pretty psyched with how it looks when it's all gold. If I wear this to a con, there will be some adjusting that I'll have to do to make sure everything stays in place and I'm not worried about losing things and popping off, literally walking around the con. Oh no, I lost a toe somewhere. Well, weathering is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. Some of you know this. This was just like a pure pleasure project for me. I think the eagle turned out pretty cool. You know, up close it's a little messy, but I think from far away it really does, it does the job quite nicely. I do think if I wear this at a Kong, Kong, <laughs> yeah. Tried to order some chain mail, but it didn't come in time. It, I think it actually got lost in the mail, so. That's unfortunate, but you know, we make do without it. But I think this would really benefit from some actual like accurate under armor. I might add some detail to the back of this chest plate just because right now it's kinda... Not a lot going on. So going forward, I think I might add like something to represent almost like a skirt back there. I had a lot of fun just making a Lady Knight version of one of my favorite characters. So bright and shiny, first project of the new year. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here, if you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free, to fit. <sighs> feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, why is this so greasy? Oh, yuck, God. <laughs> it hurt really bad. I have. I need to pay bread for all the lonely nights. We're all alright. We're all alright. I love you, Washington. Okay. Hopefully, the boogers come down. Is my red hair poking through? I don't think so.